YouTube, welcome back to Universe X, and today we are going to talk about the last two secret reveals, and then we're going to start our descent into our archetype breakdowns. Uh, Green Burly VR1, so that's going to be the very first one we put out. We're going to try to get them all out in about a week's time or so. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are excited for that. Uh, just to say a couple channel announcements real quick, we have secured a sealed Luffy deck. So very, very, very soon, we're going to have a giveaway that involves all four starter decks for the One Piece card game, as well as Super Pre-Release Dawn, um, the whatever stamped leaders we can get our hands of loose. And so we're going to have a huge One Piece giveaway. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to make that a huge thing. Uh, past that, we just had affiliate on Twitch. So uh, yeah, we are going to be streaming Monday through Friday, unless extenuating circumstances come up at 11 a.m. to 1 and then we might be doing a night, late night stream too right now we're streaming gotham nights uh in a week we'll be streaming god of war uh and a week after that we'll be streaming pokemon scarlet so there's gonna be a little something for everybody so yeah just hop on over there link will be in the description now do want to say as per usual always go and give the official facebook group a like and a follow because this is where these spoilers come from uh you can go to the unofficial discussion group or reddit links will both be in the description or the universe x discord we are definitely doing a lot of things and soon on top of one piece we'll be doing battle spirits too so we really just got a lot going on so without further ado we are going to just put the template up and start talking about these cards and uh, if you do want to support this channel directly, all you got to do is go down, like that video, comment the video trends, and uh, maybe even press that subscribe button so you'll see what else we're up to in Universe X. Let's look at the cards. All right, so first up, we've got Cell Max Deliverer of Despair. Uh, eight costs, so he dodges some of the most relevant, you know, things that could smoke him. Um, he's got a 110k... As per usual with these, ultimate quadruple strikes. The first thing you're going to notice is that he has no barrier, no deflect, but we're going to get into that. Permanent. If you have three or less energy, this card cannot attack or be removed from the battle areas. Auto. If a skilled remove this card from a battle area, choose all of your opponent's barrier cards, uh, battle cards, ignoring barrier, KO them, and then place one card from your opponent's life into their drop. Activate main green. If your leader is green, play this card from your hand. So here's a couple things here. One. Before we get into any of the technicalities of this card, we're going to talk about the flavor. Um, when Cell Max's weak point is destroyed, he will blow up, destroying every cell in his body, and it can cause massive AoE damage that somehow doesn't destroy the Earth, even though um, he's this strong. So, that's weird. But, the point is, that's why he blows up when you remove him from the field. That's straight, straight flavor. That's what Bandai loves doing with these Dragon Ball cards. So, that's pretty cool. Now... Before you have four energy, he can't attack nor be removed from battle areas. That is a very interesting position. So he can't be bounced, he can't be warped, um, he cannot be tucked, he cannot be KO'd. Now the current issue, the debate going around, is what happens when you minus this guy to zero. Currently, there's a couple of different camps. Some people think that uh, he goes to zero and then his permanent keeps him on the board and it causes an endless loop that would have you in a draw. That is what is going around. Um, some people say that, nope, when he hits uh, zero via, via negging, that's going to be just a game mechanic. He's going to leave the battlefield and then he's going to crit your opponent for a life and take all their battle cards. So those are the two things that are currently going around. Of course, when the set comes out, we're going to get an actual FAQ that lets us know what goes on here. But for now, it's very interesting. Um, his activate main to drop him is crazy because he is going to be a one cost, just quadruple strike. Now, later in the game, this could be particularly weird because God Ceiling will always be able to put this guy back in the hand. Not really much of a problem. You just paid one for a quad strike and fished out of God Ceiling. That's actually, like, when people are like, oh, you can God Seal it. I'm like, do it. <laughs> like, like you know, I will trade one energy to pull a God Ceiling out of your hand, 100%. But this guy is also interesting because you could put him on the board on turn one and just sit. Your opponent would know he's coming, but they'd have to hold a hard to gate. You'd be able to get in damage all around because they are not going to want a quad strike swinging at them. Even if this guy swings first, he draws out there hard in the gate, and he draws out, like, if they have a floodgate, a floodgate too. So this guy is actually a very, very strong card. And when he gets removed, he's going to give you insurance. So I think that this guy is actually a pretty big powerhouse. Um, he's not going to be like, he's not like de facto Green's, SCR. I don't think he's he's color defining like Gohan Piccolo, um, 
like Vegeta, like Baby Hatch. I don't think he's there, but he's definitely a finally a good addition to green. Um, and then on top of that, it says if a skill would remove this card from a battle area, this is actually very interesting for green cards too. Like decks like Starter Broly could play this for one energy swing, you know, potentially, yeah, swing, do that thing, and then use their leader to pop it, or pair gets the sacrifice to, uh, I believe he pops any battle card, to pop this, draw a card, nuke your opponent's board, crit them a life. This guy is actually just very, very interesting. That's a two energy combo. If you caught your opponent slipping and you hit him for, like, a quad strike and then just use Paragus Sacrifice to blow up your stuff, your leader skill to blow up this guy and crit them again, that would be crazy. That's a five life kill. Um, of course, you leave yourself open to testing the op, but, yeah, there's a lot of interesting plays that you can make with this lead, or with this uh, SCR. And I think that um, he'll go in and out of the format. Like, yes, he is. he has no protection. You can see him coming. But one energy is a lot. You could have five energy in a turn, do things with three energy, and then you want to leave one up for a certain negate or a floodgate. But, you know, you just go, okay, well, you know, you've already withstood the assault of all my green cards. Cool. One energy, cell max, deliver of despair, I'm swinging in. And that's um, that cannot be discounted. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. He's a rock until you have four energy, and he can't be removed unless you're playing against red. And even then, those first three turns, getting him down that much can be hard outside of sin. So we're going to be seeing a lot of weirdness there. But um, I think this guy is actually pretty cool. But now we're going to move on to, I, I'm going to say the main event because you know you know how I be. You know how I be with this man. Um, I've been waiting for this for a very, very long time. This is Sun Gohan Beyond the Ultimate. And uh, these pictures that we get online don't even do the cards justice because the SCR foiling this set is, like, amazing. It's like gold weave. It's crazy. But we finally have it. A 100% Gohan SCR. I will be pulling for this. I will be so happy to have this in my hands. If you guys pull it and uh, you want to talk to me about business, go ahead because I am hunting for this card. Um, yeah, Sun Gohan Beyond the Ultimate. Ultimate. Uh, auto, when this card is played, choose all of your opponent's battle cards in unison, ignoring barrier. Return them to their owner's hands, and if your opponent has more cards in hand than you, place one card from your opponent's life at the bottom of their deck. Activate main slash battle once per turn. Choose up to two of your cards, switch them to active mode, and if you switch this card to active mode by this skill, it gains critical for the turn. Uh, activate main, blue, blue. If your leader is blue and you have three or more energy and you place two cards from your hand at the bottom of your deck, play this card from your hand. Okay, so a couple things. One, it's summoning condition. Two blue for no deflect. Um, he's an eight cost, so he's going to be dodging a whole lot, but he still can be God Sealing. This is not going to be as good as Cell when it comes to baiting out God Sealing because you're paying two instead of one. However, this guy has a lot more things that he's doing than Cell, so I mean, you're not going to want to make that too accessible. Um, you're putting three, you have to have three or more energy. And so you can only play this on three. Um, once again, it's counting your energy, not your opponent. So that is something that you can be aware of. Uh, the deck it was designed for, Gohan, is going to generally want to do its Awakening on turn three. So you have access to four energy that turn. Actually, oh, sorry. Five energy that turn. No, that's not even it. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you do Gohan's Awakening turn right, you have access to six energy on that turn, even though you charge three. Because you have three, you are going to generally play your uh, Z battle card, you're going to maybe get in a one energy play, you're going to awaken to untap two, uh, then you're going to be able to, you know, use your Z power or Z uh, energy to untap one when you add a card to there, and then you have three more energy up. So six energy on your turn three if you awaken on turn three. Uh, this guy is very, 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 very strong. Uh, I was laughing because he also provides a kill button in, um, in blue. If you're at 7 energy and you play this guy and you bounce everything, all their unisons and their card battle cards back to their hand, ignoring barrier, then you crit them for 1 life, bringing them from 4 to 3. Once you do this, you can then activate his main to untap 2 energy, you're back up to 7, and then you play Turning the Tide. Turning the Tide, <laughs> will, um, turning the tide will drop them down to 0 cards in hand, and then you can swing with your 
You can swing with um, your turning the tide for crit, dropping it down to two life with no cards in hand. Swing with your leader, see what cards you get off of your draw, or however your leader works. And then as long as they did not pick up a negate, you're then going to be able to swing with a 40k secret rare. And that should be game. I mean, if you drew an overhome off your leader, that's another extension. But yeah, that that's a very powerful effect. Like, Dirty Burst gets in those cheeks against that. But that's almost a for sure win con for blue. If you just get that late in the game and you just slam this guy on Tattoo Energy, slam uh, Turning the Tide, that sounds like a kill button in blue. Besides that, though, he can be very, very aggressive. Um, he can attack and give himself crit and untap one of your energy by tapping himself, making him essentially a dual attack 40k crit. Um, something else that's cool is that he's activate main slash battle. So the very next turn, unless they start off the turn by killing him, if they swing and you don't negate, you can move into your battle and activate this to untap two energy. Um, that's actually a very, 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 very cool effect. So this guy's actually utility. He has no protection. He's all guns, like balls to the walls, no protection, but very, very punchy. He's going to be able to potentially hit you for twice for crit. Um, good thing offensive sensu bean is banned because this would have been even worse to have that happen with. But yeah, I think this is uh, this is crazy. <laughs> this is honestly, honestly a crazy card. I don't think it's better than Hatch, but I do like it more than Super Sam Blue Kaioken Goku. I'm not gonna front. Um, I know that it feels cool to untap a gajillion energy, uh, but I just think this card is really cool for its board wiping capabilities. It's a, uh, it's pretty neat. Um, something that's also funny about this is that in the Gohan deck, you would be able to activate this guy's ability to bounce everything back to hand, and then you'd be able to untap two energy, or just one energy in him. It really depends on what you want to do. But you're going to tap um, two energy and then play a Z battle card. And that Z battle card is going to make them shuffle down to 11. So you could potentially put stuff back in their hand and just be like, no, put it back. So this is actually a really, really, really neat card. Um, and it gives blue something it didn't have before, and that's a massive removal for cards and unisons. Granted, it's blue removal, so it goes back to hand. But yeah, I want this card. I am very, very excited for this card. So yeah, thank you guys, and uh, oh man. So there we go. It's been a long time coming, but Gohan has his own secret rare, and uh, yeah, I guess Max is there too. But uh, yeah. So, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, like I said, make sure you are subscribed to see more. We're going to be coming out with Battle Spirits news as it surfaces. Uh, One Piece is going to be going crazy. I am currently signed up for both PPGs as well as... Um, yeah, I'm signed up for PPGs as well as um, Play TCG. So, I'll be in both tournaments. That should be fun. Uh, I'm going to see if I can stream those. That should be fun as well. And then uh, we will get into whatever we can. So with that being said, I will see you guys the next time you decide to join Universe X.